threatening injuries. About 3,000 people were attending the festival when that barrier collapsed. Well, as you look ahead to your Labor Day here, things are looking nice in the northwest, but I know the entire southeast is still focused on Hurricane Dorian. It's the big weather story, and this is just a massive hurricane, yeah. so all eyes have been right there in the southeast. I know you have family there, so it's something mm -hmm. that we've been chatting about uh, on and off through the evening. Okay, I want to show you the satellite radar. We won't spend a lot of time on this, but still another view of Hurricane Dorian as it does travel to the west very slow. This is a robust hurricane really large. We can finally see everything on the radar and we will continue to track this uh, as we go through uh, the overnight and into early tomorrow morning. This is actually the fifth category five hurricane in the Atlantic Basin over the last few years. We have Dorian right now, 2019, 2018, Michael, 2017 at Irma Maria and then 2016 Matthew. And so it's been very busy the last four or five years. OK, let's take a look at some of our temperatures here close to home for our Labor Day week, and I hope you've had an enjoyable time so far. 84 degrees for our high today. Back to back days. Uh, 84 for uh, Troutdale there, and we have 81 coming out of Hood River. Some warm spots in central and uh, eastern section of the gorge, but overall not too bad. Above average, definitely for most of us, you can see there our normal is about uh, the upper 70s for this time early September. So we still have really nice weather for our Labor Day. It does get a bit warm on Tuesday and Wednesday. I'm talking about probably mid 80s to possibly the upper 80s. And it does appear that we uh, will probably cool down just a bit as we head into next weekend. Tonight, though, not too cool around Portland, lower 60s, but outside uh, temperatures uh, around Portland and some of those other neighborhoods, uh, probably down to about the mid to upper 50s, the coast there, uh, mid 50s. Your Labor Day forecast, if you're going to get out to meet with some friends or family tomorrow by lunchtime in the 70s, a lot of sunshine for most of us, maybe a, some morning cloud activity for the coast and parts of the valley. But overall, I do expect a nice sunny sky as we head into our Monday. Uh, here's the overnight hours. Yeah, maybe some clouds on the coast. That's about it. <laughs> no rain uh, from Washington all the way down to the south edge of Oregon. So very quiet for our Monday. Again, just pleasant weather uh, as we do look forward in time. That goes for Tuesday as well. So out the door forecast if you're going to be out the Monday through Friday. Again, sunshine just about each and every day. Thursday, a few more clouds, but really no uh, threat of rain this week. Maybe some thunderstorms for central and eastern Oregon come Thursday, but for us, not the case. Okay, I have us at 85 on Tuesday, 86 on Wednesday, so it does get a bit warm out there. And then again, Emily, it cools down as we go into uh, Saturday and as we go into Sunday. All right.